G'day everyone! So in my last video I installed the new plywood floor in the bus. I was met with a few design challenges while doing that but in the end I'm happy with the way it turned out. The floor is pretty much done. There's just one more thing I need to do to finish it off before I can move on to doing some other things. So today the plan is to seal the plywood floor. Now, um, if you saw my previous video, you'll see that the underneath side of the floor that's exposed to the weather under the bus, I actually painted with bitumen paint to um, hopefully waterproof that and seal that off. Um, now eventually on the inside here, I plan to lay vinyl flooring down on top of the floor. But before I get to that stage, there's a bit of work I have to do on the bus um, yet and the bus is not yet watertight there are a couple of leaks that I know of in the roof and there's bound to be more that um, I haven't found yet so I'm actually planning to take out all the windows um, and clean them up and replace the rubber seals because a lot of them have deteriorated and are no good anymore so I want to do all that make sure that's watertight I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on the roof um, so there may be a little bit of water getting in until I've done all of that so I just want to protect the plywood floor in the meantime and also sealing it is a good idea anyway to, even though I'm putting vinyl flooring down um, it just gives it that extra layer of protection you know down the track in case the kitchen sink leaks or the water pump leaks or something like that so the stuff that I'm going to be using um, to seal the floor is this stuff here called Bondcrete and um, I've never used this before but it was recommended to me by a few people uh, in the bus groups on Facebook so I'm going to give it a go um, basically the idea is that you um, if you're using this as a sealer you just water it down with some water I think it's yeah it's basically one part this to four parts water so it gets diluted down quite a lot and then you just paint it on um, I'm actually going to try just rolling it on um, with a general purpose roller which I think will be a bit quicker than trying to do it with a paintbrush but we'll see how we go um, now before I do that I just want to give the floor a bit of a sand because most of it's pretty good but especially along the joins um, you know the edges there's a little bit of that bitumen paint kind of sticking up um, on the edges and especially over the wheel arches where there's a slight difference in thickness of the plywood that I used um, in some places it's just a little bit of a, um, a step there so I want to just sand that off and make it a bit smoother uh, and then once I've done that I will uh, paint this stuff on. So I've sanded the floor, um, sanded the joints in the floor and I've got it as dust free as I can. So now it's time to uh, paint on the Bondcrete. Okay, so according to the directions on this tub, um, if I want to do a sealing coat, it's one part Bondcrete to four parts water. Now this is a one litre tub and it's also telling me that if I'm doing a sealing coat, uh, I should get about 35 square meters now the coaster is roughly like not even 12 square meters on the floor so I should get two coats at least out of a tub uh, is my plan so I guess if I mix half of this up today for the first coat so that'll be 500 mils roughly of this uh, and two liters of water if I've done my maths correctly <laughs> we'll see Okay, well, I've mixed it. Like I said, I put half the tub in, so it's about 500 mils and two liters of water. Um, and it's very runny. It's like water, guys. I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to be doing it. Um, it's gonna go on very, very thin. I mean, it's basically like water. It doesn't feel like paint at all. Um, anyway, this is the ratio it said to do it in, so. 
hopefully that's right okay so I wasn't sure about the consistency of this paint being so thin um, but I've just asked the brains trust in the Facebook group and um, one of the guys reassures me that it is meant to be painted on this this thin it is quite watery um, and it actually helps it to soak into the plywood which protects it even more so I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, the plan is to paint the edges and in, in all the joins with the brush first and then I'll go over the whole lot with the roller um, I'll get one coat on today and I'll let that dry for about 24 hours and hopefully come back and do a second coat tomorrow with the rest of the tub and we'll see what it looks like Okay, well I don't know if you can really tell on the camera here, but I've done the first coat of the Boncrete and it basically just looks like the ply's got a, a coat of clear coat <laughs> sealer over the top, which is essentially all it is. Um, so I'm going to let that dry now. Uh, it says 24 hours to let it dry, so I'll come back um, tomorrow afternoon and do a second coat. Okay, so it's actually two days since I painted that first coat. I had to go out yesterday and didn't really get home in time to do the second coat yesterday afternoon. Um, so I'm going to paint the second coat this morning. Before I do that, I just want to um, give the floor a bit of a vacuum because we had a storm overnight and I just want to make sure there's no dust and things that have blown onto the floor before I paint the sealer. So I'll give it a quick vacuum first and then we'll get the second coat on. <music> I will say about the Boncrete is if you've got a coaster and you're going to do this on your floor um, you don't need anywhere near a full tub to do the two coats I mean that first coat I mixed up half the tub just because I wasn't sure how it would go um, I ended up having heaps left over that I just had to throw away and I didn't use the second coat I mixed um, half as much and I still had heaps left over so I mean this is a one liter tub I'm not sure if it comes in any smaller sizes but you don't even need half a liter to do two coats on the floor so um, yeah just a, a tip if you're going to do this yourself don't mix up anywhere near as much as I did because it's you just don't need very much at all because it gets watered down so much so I'll leave it at that for now. Um, I think that'll be sufficient to protect the floor just while I'm doing the rest of the work. As I said, eventually I'm going to be laying vinyl flooring. And when I come to do that, I might even give the floor another sand um, and maybe even do another coat of the concrete. I'm not sure. I'll just have to see, see how well it holds up. Um, but for now, I'm happy with that. Now that the floor's finished, um, the next stage is to get the bus watertight basically. So there's a bit of work to be done on the windows, there's a bit of work to be done on the roof. Um, I also want to do a little bit more work on the floor in the driver's area. Um, I've got some stuff that I want to put down in there. So, um, But before I do any of that, there is a couple of issues at the front of the bus that um, I've been sort of putting off dealing with for a while and I think I want to get those sorted before I start doing any more work on the inside um, and the two things are firstly the driver's door doesn't close properly it was like that when I first bought the bus um, but it's been getting worse and basically it shuts and you can still lock it fortunately um, but it doesn't close all the way and it doesn't sit totally flush with the rest of the bus um, so I want to get that looked at and also there is a little bit of rust around the windscreen um, it's not bad thankfully certainly nothing like it was with my previous bus um, but you can see a little bit of rust around the windscreen frame and because the rust is not too bad I could probably afford to wait a bit longer before getting it fixed um, but I just know that in order to clean up the rust around the frame you need to to grind back the metal and um, paint it and so on so it's going to be a messy job and I think I'd rather just do that get that all treated properly and sealed up before I do any more work on the inside so I'm going to hold off doing any more work on the bus 
um, for the next little bit just so I can get some quotes and organize to get those things fixed um, and then I'll be able to come back and, and get cracking on the next stage of the conversion.